I got a shift on with y'all. God gave me a golden nugget revelation today. And I have to share it with people of faith. The people that have been born again. You have to be born again first to get this revelation. If you ain't born again, I advise you to get born again. And when you get baptized by the Holy Spirit, there's more power. What I want to share with you, like, when you're working your faith first, you have to work it like a tool, like a mechanic. Like, when you're asking for a tool, you got to work. You got to know exactly what button to mash. You got to know what exactly what words to say. You have two different things to think about and to say. We don't get the choice. only thing we do is get the free will. We get the free will. Because you can either think and say what God say. And how he think, or you either think and say what the devil say. First of all, God word is in the book. First, you gotta know the book. But the devil say is everything that's carnality minded. It's in the world. Everything that's out there in the world. That's the devil word. That's the father of the lies. But when you coming from spirit word, you coming from the spirit. You coming from what God say. And God words the truth. Everybody say facts, but facts change because the truth override the facts. But I'm going to tell y'all about this golden nugget revelation. And like when you pray and you have faith, God say anything you ask without having doubt in your heart and believe, you get it, you receive it. And I'm going to tell you something about that. If you believe it, that's the only thing you have to do is believe it without having doubt in your heart and you receive it. But the thing is about that faith, whatever that word is, because you say you get faith by hearing the word of God. You get faith by hearing the word of God and by the word of God. You get to buy the word of God by reading the book. And you eat on that. You meditate on that. You repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Say it over, say it over. Get it in your heart. That's sowing the seed. You sow the word. That's the sowing the seed part. So you sow that seed. The invisible seed because it's the word. You got to sow his word. Once you sow his word, you get it in your heart. You repeat it so much until you actually believe it. Just like the lady that had the, the issue of blood for 12 years. She always said, she kept saying, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. She said that so much and so long that when she actually got the G, she didn't do nothing but touch the hem of his garment and she was made whole. The reason why? Because she believed it. It's going to be a time, you know what? The enemy going to give you the opportunity to say it. It could be against your wife. It could be at your workplace. Whatever your seed is, whatever you got going on in your life, whatever seed you just sowed, you say it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Then when the enemy give you an opportunity to say it in the face of adversity, you see it. You talking? You release your faith out there, man. Release it to the atmosphere, and I promise you, God' word shall come to pass, man. That's all you have to do. That's the golden nugget revelation I want to share with y'all, people of faith. Thank you.